Welcome back to Resale Mania. Welcome back to another all day thrifting trip. But first we are outside a daily coffee where I'm gonna go ahead and run in there and grab the nice lady who works over at Rethink Thrift to coffee since she's always hooking us up. She's always talking about how much she loves this place, so. The coffee shop's literally a block from the thrift store and she's always hooking me up with good deals. Always so nice, she has a lot going on. So a coffee to brighten the morning, hopefully. All right, Rethink Thrift. And they have a lot of donations today, so maybe I'll get to dig through it. Um, oh my God, you rocked my world. Thank yeah, you, no guys. <laughs> Shoes on the phone. Hi, Hinkies. Ooh, a new cart. My five. Some Merrill boots. I don't think they got very much good stuff yesterday. No? Well, it's okay. I'll hopefully find something. Of course. Oh my gosh. I forgot my cell phone. Okay, so a 1995 belt. I'm not sure what brand this is, but I've been picking up belts lately and they've been doing really well. There's a bunch of them. That one doesn't look like anything crazy. Hmm. 93. There's another. Just gonna grab them and look them up in a bit. See some Uggs. There's a doTERRA wood box. What is it? Okay, cool. Well, thank you. There's Stetson shirt. I didn't even know Stetson made like button down shirts. That's cool. A lot of glassware is trying to get the Uggs out safely. Some Ugg Cardi Nets, these usually sell for 30. Yeah, so this model usually sells for about 40. Ah, might be worth it. Oh wait, no. Probably not, 2009. Kelly Hansen has a some company on it, but I mean, this is a nice soft shell jacket. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, before you pull any more off this rack, all clothing is $2.50, and those Filson shirts should do really well. I don't know exactly how much they go for, but I know Filson's a really good brand. I've never seen that uh, logo, but it looks like it's sewed on. Hmm, yeah, it's a patch. Lauren Ralph Lauren. I'm gonna put this in the cart and I'll Google lens that in a bit. Okay, so there's two of these Filson button-up shirts and Filson's a really good brand. It looks like I can get roughly $50 each for these. So for $250, you can't go wrong. So with belts, I don't pick them all up. Uh, they have to have some sort of like tooled leather or like studded, you know, some sort of design. So this one that's seven is a really nice like Western belt. The brand is 3D, like DDD -D -D letters. And uh, it sells for roughly 30. The other one is Nakona, which isn't a great brand, but this one's only like $2.50, I think. And it goes for, I think the comps were looking between 20 and 25. So I'll get both of them. All right, so she's letting me dig through the clothing that's unsorted, and boy, am I glad she did. Some amazing finds so far. I'm still looking, so I'll go over it in a bit. All right, I'm not much of a cloth uh, women's clothing seller, just because I'm not too keen on listing it, but I know from the Hustle at Home Mom, Eileen Fisher's a great brand. A cardigan sweater, a nice Columbia Omni Heat vest, and this is a score, score. A Sims puffer jacket. This is probably worth $75. Another Eileen Fisher cardigan. Those are probably $25 to $30 a piece if I had to guess. A Lauren Ralph Lauren like denim jacket. And then a North Face down jacket. And with North Face down jackets, they always have the filling number on the sleeve. This is 550. So when you search comps, you want to look up North Face 550 down jacket, and that'll tell you the exact comps. And it's like the amount of filling that's in it. And the higher the number, the more valuable. All right. The amount I paid for all this stuff 
it's insane. I know I have the cheapest thrift stores probably anywhere. Um, and all the she, all the clothing was half off again. I guess they're just really trying to move clothing. I only spent thirty three dollars and seventy five cents on this entire cart. The boots will make me more money back on their own. The belts, roughly each item of clothing, will as well. The Filson shirts, fantastic sell through rate, will sell very quickly for 50 a piece. I mean, I have a full cart here. The North Face jacket, it's a kid size, I didn't realize, but still, North Face down jacket, kids large, that'll still sell for 35 to 40. Uh, yeah, just insane stuff especially for just under $34, a whole Ikea bag. Got it, it can't get any better. This thrift store is basically yard sale prices. Okay, so she gave me permission to look through the donations before I leave. And first score, okay, so this is a Mac Tools like uh, plier set. And obviously it's missing three. If it was complete, it would go for about $80. So even, you know, I could probably get 45 to 50 for this still. So I'm gonna see how much he wants for that. It's probably only gonna be like five bucks. All right, and then a little Patagonia waffle knit uh, sweater. This is probably a 25 to $30 sweater. Let's make a little pile right there. This might be my favorite part of the store. Her exact words were take stuff out, put it on the ground, open boxes, do whatever. Uh, and I did. And digging is obviously so much fun. It's a little cold. <laughs> uh, I should have wore more. But these head ski boots are gonna be a huge score. I can already tell if I can get this dang plastic bag. Yeah, that's a really good model, really good condition. Those are probably $100 boots, maybe more. Set them down. Underneath them were some nice, oh yeah. Some nice Carhartt, like oh, overall coveralls. Those are going in the get pile. Whew. Oh yeah, that's all. Okay, I've only found this brand once. Bogner. I don't know exactly what these pants would be considered as. They're really nice quality, thick, like lined. But I've sold it, and it sold very fast for really good money. I think it was over 100, I'm not sure, but. All right, so first of all, I apologize if the camera's a little shaky, I am cold. Just pulled out a Canon power shot. No battery corrosion. That's probably, if it works, a $50 camera. Over here, we just pulled out some Bur Papatilo. It's like a style of Birkenstocks. It's Birkenstock branded. Not sure how many, much of these go for, but probably 30. There's another pair of Birkenstocks, but they are just way too worn. Stop just keeps getting better and better. Nice Patagonia puffer jacket. Nice. That's a score. Put that in my pile of stuff. What else is in here? Here's another Patagonia. A little Capilane base layer. I think this, yep, this is, or maybe it's not. Feels like it, but nope, that's not Patagonia. But this is Patagonia. Nice little Patagonia lightweight sweatshirt. Is it? Feels good. Patagonia leggings. Nice. These people like their Patagonia. This got to be Patagonia. I think it's just worn off maybe. It has a logo on it. <sighs> maybe not. I don't know. Heck yeah though. A Yeti tumbler. You know, a little dirty, but I mean, not gonna pass up a Yeti. Okay guys, filled up a second cart. Gosh, I... This is why, this is my favorite thrift store ever. Why I come here first every day. Filled up a second cart. Guess how much I paid for this one? Pretty close to the same, $33.42. The camera will make me money back. The head ski boots will triple my money. All the great clothing scores. A Yeti, which is probably gonna be personal. The Mac Tool set. Mac Tools is a really good brand, if you didn't know. So much Patagonia. And the Carhartt overalls. They're a bit dirty, but I mean, they, those are nice ones too. Those are heavy duty. Heavy duty. That 
So what I spend, $67 in total on all of that? Amazing. And now, Goodwill. All right, so I was going to look at the shoes and this cinch sweatshirt caught my eye. It's a kid's extra large, but it's only $3.99. I don't know how much that's gonna be worth, maybe 15 to 20. Over here, some Ariat boots for 15. Uh, eh, I guess they're not in too bad of condition, just pretty, pretty dusty, honestly. Some leather polish should clean these up. I feel like these are gonna be worth 15. Logitech. Six bucks, I'll scan, I'll look it up in a sec. Okay, this is why you look everything up, because I was not expecting this to be worth much, but used, 30, new one sold for 50, so for six bucks, that's a buy. In the women's shoes are some Adidas Ultra Boost for 10. It's a pretty decent model. Hmm. It looks like there's like some grass standing on the tips. It might not, that might be how it's supposed to be. I don't know, I'll probably leave them behind. Okay, so I think this is good. I think, I gotta look it up because I don't remember. Eh, got some, that would probably come off. I think I've heard of home, yeah, homeschooling picker talking about Brighton purses. Let me look it up real quick. Okay, I don't think this is the one she was talking about. Brighton Creek? I'm not seeing anything for Creek just bright in itself so it has different that's like plasticky so i'm gonna leave it i could be wrong let me know i am glad i came over to the purses though because this is a brand i do know bagalini learned this from harry tornado's channel uh and it is six bucks so i'm guessing that's gonna be worth it oh and we got another one this one's only four bucks heck yeah two bagalinis nice I obviously don't know a whole lot on handbags and purses, but it's always good to check, learn some new categories, look stuff up if you don't know. Lucky brand, that's probably worth eh, eight. Yeah. All right, so after coming over to the toy section to look, I found a few things. So I found, well, these two are not gonna be worth it. Oh, my bad, I am always dropping stuff. Let me set you guys here. Okay, so these are six a piece. These are not worth it. These only go for about uh, 12 a piece. But uh, the bigger one, I've actually sold these two of these before and they sold really quickly. This is also $5.99. I should get about 35 to 40 for this. And this one surprised me a little. This is $5.99 Matchbox Battle King set. Looks like I can get between 30 and 50 for it. And then I found these two bags of like army action figures. I gotta do more research in them really quickly. It's $5.99 a bag, but they are full of them. So we'll see. All right, so these are all between 2001 and 2005. And they're the same as these guys, kinda. Just like a big lot of them. So I think I'm gonna get these. And it looks like they were going for about five to eight a piece. If I just buy both bags for, what would it be, 12? Uh, lot them all together for 50 to 60 i think they would sell and they have all like the weapons and stuff so i'm gonna take a chance okay guys we just scored really really big like insane 45 dollars we'll go over this more in the car holy cow guys holy cow we're gonna set this bad boy right here He's handy. So, I got this too, you guys didn't see it. It came out on a new cart, this like Elvis stitch for five. Super cool. But, I was about to leave when they rolled this out in a new cart. Man, this lighting's bad. Um, so anyways, I was about to leave when they rolled this out in a new cart. Well, not a new cart, they just rolled it out on its own. $45. Came with the stool, this speaker, okay? This speaker alone, goes for about $100 plus shipping. The stool, it is Roland branded, and this goes for about, you know, 75 on its own. But this, the Roland V-Drum drum set, and I'm pretty sure it, it all breaks down too, so it won't be too hard to ship. It'll be a little hard. I could tell each one of these pedals 
for like 200 a piece. But I could get like 300 just for this part here. And I have to do more research. I just did like quick comping. But some of these are going between 1500 and $2,000. Even if it doesn't really break down, I could probably sell it locally for a thousand. Like I said, I'll double, them, double my money just off this. Roland, just insane. That might be my best Goodwill find ever. If this is $2,000, that's my best Goodwill find. You know, I'll make another $100, $200 off the rest of the stuff I found, but who cares? That made the trip. Okay, quick update on the drum set. Unfortunately, it's not as valuable as I thought it was gonna be. It was a different model I was looking at. Uh, the speaker is still worth 100, the stool is still worth like 50 to 75. The drum set I have is worth between five and 700, which for 45 isn't bad. I'll probably list it locally for like 350, 400, just to see if I can sell it without having to ship it. Um, and either way, that's still some good profit, but just want to let you guys know, be honest, not, you know, I, I miscomped it. I spent 88 on everything. No matter what, I won't, you know, even if I didn't find the drums and I paid 88, I would make profit. Man, I can't believe I just found that. And I got so lucky. Like, as I was about to leave, I see him pushing it out on a uh, on a dolly. If that's $2,000, yes. I will take this happy, happy moment to remind you guys that every 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a four-pack of American Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap. We're getting close to the next giveaway, so make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win. And honestly... That was worth the subscribe right there. You can't even deny it. Come on, hit that button. Let's go. Come on, please. Please. All right, next stop, Four Corners Thrift. Some Hey Dudes for eight. It's not bad. It's a good model, but eight's a little high. Tell you what, they're still here tomorrow. Those will be coming home. Some Ugg boots for eight as well. It's not bad. The tips look a little rough, but they just need some leather polish. Hmm. I'm going to put these in the cart and think about it. I might get them today. I might see if they make it till tomorrow. Some Sorel boots for 10. It's a pretty nice pair right there. I'll make it these as well. What is this and why is it $50? Huh. Oh my goodness, that is heavy. Hmm. I, I don't know. I think it's like a meat sausage maker. I've had some good luck with gloves lately. These are 10 a piece, which is a little steep. I'm gonna look you up the models though, after I'm done walking around. Doesn't have a price on it. Hmm. I wish I had more knowledge in glassware. It's just not something that interests me, which, Neither is clothing, but it sells. So I should force myself to learn a little bit more. It never hurts to know a new category. Does anything stand out to any of you guys here? Because I just, I don't know. That's cool. Okay, so at 10 bucks a piece, neither of these gloves are gonna be worth it. Maybe tomorrow on half off day for five. Even then, five's a little high because they only sell for about 20 plus shipping. Okay, I decided to put everything back. It's just, just condition wise. Uh, if they're still here tomorrow, then yeah, but no. Eight and ten is a little high. After putting everything back, these caught my eye actually. These Nike Air Maxes in really good condition. Ten bucks, just a little dirty. And I looked them up and they go for about 50 on average. And I know most of you guys know this, but for the new resellers, you see the tag here, the style code will always be a 10 digit number, six numbers, a dash, and then three, you just type that into Google and it'll come right, not Google, eBay, and it'll come right up. 
Okay, so once again, changing my mind. I am gonna get these Sorrells. I just realized I have a $10 off punch card that is full. So both these Sorrells and the Nikes will only be 10 in total. So yeah, can't beat it. All right, it's very windy, but $10 for two pairs of shoes. Can't beat it, five bucks a piece technically. I should make about 80 in profit off them both. I mean 80 total, like off them both. All right, next stop of the day is Sacks of Bozeman. Okay, off to a really good start so far. In the glass, the I'll show you the two things at the end because they were in the glass case, so she's holding it. But some really good finds. All right, so there's a bin of remotes right, with an iClick or two for a dollar. But don't pass up on remotes because some are good money. Just gotta look them up. Oh, this is actually gonna be worth a dollar as well. Some of these talkabouts go for about twenty on average, twenty to thirty. This Sony RMT DS11 remote for a dollar is worth about 20, so that's not bad at all. The other ones are pretty basic, but I'm gonna get those three for a dollar a piece. Some Birkenstocks for 10. The size is worn off, you can't see it, so I'm gonna leave them. Some Oboes, but just missing insoles and a little too much wear, but that is a great brand. Okay, here's what I got. I spent $28 even, and I'll show you in the car. All right, so $28. The iClicker will get to me the majority of my money back today. Got this Motorola talk about, you know, $15, $20, $20 on this Sony remote. But the two big finds start with the Nintendo Wii. It's the black model. Uh, 15 is paying up, but Hopefully there's a game in there, you know. Either way, it's worth it. I'll make some money, if it works, obviously. I do have a cord at home to test it. This, though, is the score of the stock. Look up all calculators, even if they're not TI-84 Pluses. This is an HP 49G Plus, and comps are really good on it. 60 to 70, and it sells consistently. I think it was an HP 50 something that I sold and it sold for like $250 and I paid a dollar at a yard sale. So look up your calculators. Okay, we're back at home with the Wii. Let's go ahead and see if there's any hidden games inside. Power's on. Dun dun, dun dun. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort combo disc. That's a really good game, even disc only. That's gonna pay for the system, like, times two. Heck yeah. We are at the last stop of today's thrifting trip, Do-Overs Thrift. What are these? Ah, Walter Hogan's. Oh my. Okay, okay. There might be some goodies in here. Just grabbing the ones I think are gonna have value. They're only five a piece, and I'll look them up in a bit. It's a nice glove. This catcher's mitt, 20. These are a little bit more pricier than the bats. Hmm. I don't know how much of that clip I'm gonna be able to use because the music's playing on the speakers right by me, but here's the bats that I'm gonna look up here in a bit. It's a nice Patagonia backpack, but 25 is just a little too high for me. Camelback. Their bags are usually pretty pricey here. Here's a nice Osprey. Ooh. Osprey for 12 though. That's not bad. Pretty good condition. Osprey Meridian. Hmm. I'll put it in the cart and look it up in a bit. Got to do my rounds first before I comp. I'm looking in the shoes, but I'm also looking up here because I have found a Tumi suitcase here before for only $10, so I am always on the hunt now. Uh, but I'm not seeing one, unfortunately. 
chances of me finding one, you know, are always slim, but they do happen. Okay, these are nice. I've never seen new balances like these. They're just really dirty, but uh, they have some holes right here. 15. That's, man, if they didn't have that uh, ankle rub, I'd pay 15 for these probably. I bet those are worth it. They have Vibram soles. Some kids, hey dudes. Kid shoes are three dollars unless marked. I'll pay three bucks for some kids, hey dudes. Probably only worth like 15, but they'll ship first class. Are there any other good kid shoes over here? Not that I'm seeing. Okay, so I've only looked up the first two bats so far. This Demarini Fat Boy and this Easton. The Demarini's worth about 70 and the Easton's worth about 40. Both are gonna need to be regripped. All the bats are gonna. But for five bucks a piece, those are buys and I still gotta look up those. All right, this one's gonna be really good too. Five bucks. There's one sold for 40 and there's one sold for 80 in this condition, closer to 40. But I mean, still for five bucks. And after looking up this Osprey backpack, I'm also gonna get it for 12. It goes for about 50 to 60, so not too shabby. Can't wrap up the day without finding the dogs a toy. I'm gonna get these for whatnot in the future. Big old Squishmallow for free. I'll get that too. Is this also a Squishmallow? It is, but it's got some stains on it. But here's another one. That one's cute. Can't be free. Those will all go to whatnot at some point in the future of life. That's funny. What is this? That's a, that's a big boy. Ooh, nasty though. And another squish. Cool. Free squish mellows for whatnot. Unfortunately, I can't really give any of these toys to the dogs. They've either got beads or the hard eyes. So that's a bummer. Yeah. What a great day of thrifting and I didn't even spend that much money. I probably spent 150, 175 on all of this. Uh, it, off the top of my head, I don't know the exact number, but like, that's insane. What a great day. Thank you guys so much for tagging along with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's thrifting video. Many more to come, many more yard sales to come. It's the season now. So make sure you're subscribed, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.